Hello students. Today we will discuss about tally surf surface roughness meter. So this tally surf meter is also called as Taylor Hobson tally surf meter. Also called as Taylor Hobson tally surf meter. So it works on the same principle as that of Tomlinson surface meter which we have discussed earlier. So unlike the Tomlinson surface meter which is a mechanical instrument, tally surf is an electronic instrument. So works on the same principle as Tomlinson surface meter. It is an electronic instrument. So because it is an electronic instrument, this tally surf meter is more versatile and it can be used in any condition. So because it is electronic, it can be used in any condition and is more versatile. So figure here that is the Taylor Hobston tally surf meter. It shows the cross section of the measuring head. See here there is a stylus which is attached to the armature. So this is the stylus and it is attached to an armature. And this armature pivots about the center of piece of an E-shaped stamping. So this armature is pivoted at the center of an E-shaped stamping. So this is the E-shaped stamping which is shown here. Then the outer legs of the E-shaped stamping are wound with electrical coils. So there are the outer legs. This is AB and AC. These are the outer legs and they are wound with the electrical coils. So a predetermined value of alternating current is supplied to the coils. So the coil forms part of a bridge circuit. So the coil forms part. So here we can see the bridge circuit. And there is an oscillator here. These are the coils. There is an amplifier. There is a demodulator. There is a filter, a meter which is showing the readings and there is a recorder. So this is the bridge circuit and the coil will form one of the part of this bridge circuit. There is a skid or a shoe which is provided at the datum to plot surface roughness. So here we can see that there is a skid or a shoe which will provide the datum to plot the surface roughness. So the measuring head can be transversed in linear path by an electric motor. So the measuring head will be moving or transversed in a linear path that is in a linear movement by an electric motor. So the motor which may be of variable speed or provided with a gearbox provides the required speed for movement of the measuring head. So the motor will provide the required speed for measuring head. So as the stylus moves up and down due to surface irregularities, the armature will get displaced. So because of the movement of the armature, there will be a cause of variation in the air gap leading to imbalance in the bridge circuit. So because of movement of armature, there will be variation or change in the air gap which causes imbalance in the bridge circuit. So the resulting bridge circuit output consists of only modulation. So the bridge circuit output gives output in form of modulation which is fed to the 
amplifier and a pen recorder is used to make a permanent record so here there is a pen recorder and this is used to make a permanent record so this instrument has the capability to calculate and displace the roughness value according to standard formula so this is about the tally surf surface roughness meter or it is also called as taylor's hobson tally surf meter